What's up mad dogs? It's Madison and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Victoria's Secret pink haul for you. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. Um, and I have stuff from Forever 21, Paxa, Nike. It's pretty much like a back to school haul. I have just a ton of stuff I've accumulated over the last couple weeks and I'm really excited to show you. But I'm going to start with pink because I know you guys really like pink. Um, first things first is this legging tee from Pink. It is the white camo v-neck um, that they have. And the legging tee is a little bit longer, a little bit looser. Definitely an oversized fit from, you know, just something that's more fitted or snug. But like I told you guys in previous videos that I've gotten stuff in this pattern, I really like Pink's white camo print. So obviously I got this legging tee. Hopefully I didn't show that in my last video. I'm trying to keep everything separate because I like we'll have stuff for a while and then not um put it in a haul and then i feel like i forget to put things in or i i'm always afraid i'll repeat but so hopefully that's next this is so freaking cute i love tube tops like i've been really into them since they got popular and this one's from pink too it's black in the center and then it has this like checkered side um thing and it's cute it's short it has the built-in layer too, so you can go braless with, with it, which is nice. But I really like this, and I'm glad I got it online with the two tops for like 10 bucks. So, good deal. The next thing, sorry I keep bending down to grab out of my bag, um, is this Campus Crew from Pink. It is the one that was, this is how long I've been waiting to show you guys. This is from Pink Friday. It's the one that was like $25 on sale that day. This one, I think I'm going to actually give it to my sister. Um which is cute. It's like all gray. It just says Pink Nation. I like it when the letters are like, if it's gonna be that big a lettering, it looks better when it's more outlined than like full. Like if all this was white on the inside, it probably wouldn't look as good in my opinion. Um, with the cute little like arm detail, and I didn't even notice that it has this like white stripe. So yeah, it's really cute. And these are actually like thicker and like fleecy than what I'm used to. Like usually Pink Nation stuff is like not that great quality, no offense to pink or anything. Um, so here is this guy. Um, the next thing, I got a nude cool and comfy bra. If you guys are new here, then you don't know. This is probably one of my favorite bras. I definitely wear my cool and comfies like more than like most of my bras. They're just so comfortable. They don't have an underwire. It's just like a little thick seam down here. I probably said this in my last video. I tell all my customers that when they shop in the store. Fully adjustable straps, hook and eye, but it feels like a sports bra because it's the seamless material, but it's a, it has a little bit of padding in it and not really like push up. I think technically it's, yeah, it's lightly lined technically, so it's not push up, but it's so comfy. If you haven't tried this bra, you definitely should. They were on a deal where it's like buy one, get the second one for 10 bucks, and I was trying to get everyone to buy it. So I'm like, first of all, that's a good deal. Second of all, it's like the most comfy, mo it's like the most comfy bra ever, and I love it. So I've been waiting to wear that. I didn't wear it because I wanted to show it in the video and I didn't want it to get lost. And the Next thing is this 2 for 32, 2 for 36. That's so funny. I still call them, the price went up on them. I think they were 2 for 34 and now they're 2 for 36. Yeah, cute, stripey, kind of like mauve pink and white. I haven't worn this one either. I've been waiting for it and it's just cute and I don't know much, not much to say about it. I just like the basicness of it. They actually have other colors that are really cute too. All right, so the next thing is another legging tee and it's all gray tie-dye um as you can tell v-neck just like the other legging tees um and then it has the back has the pink so pretty cute i really like this t-shirt and honestly like i will tell you guys these are like pretty see-through um they're pretty thin so it's nice for the summertime but i would just say like wear a bra that's a similar color or for my white one i'll definitely wear like a nude bra um but yeah i really do like the just like plain gray tie-dye you guys know i really like tie-dye and speaking of I have this really cute campus tee. I love these because these are also really like big and boxy, but it's more of a crew, whereas the v-neck or the legging tee is like a v. Um, so it's kind of a similar vibe. It's definitely wider than the legging tee, I feel like. Um, and yeah, this one's just like blue, black, and purple tie-dye. It has the pink logo down the side. We've had that one for a while before I bought it. Like I feel like we had it for pretty, like a couple months, and then I finally bought it after um, we had it for a super long time. And then this, I really like. It is a full zip that's completely mesh. 
And you guys might be thinking, I don't even know how well this is coming up on camera. It has a little cute little logo in the corner. But yeah, you guys might be thinking, this is stupid, it's pointless, it's not that cute. Like, I get it. I had all of those feelings about it too. Um, the reason I ended up getting it was because one of the customers in the store, she bought it, her and her mom, and I was like, dang it, I should just get this. Because it would just be so, it is really cute to layer. Like, I wear tube tops under this, and um, I think I've worn like a tank top or something. Or like a bralette too. I've worn like one of my cool and comfies and then just zip that up. It's fun just because it's like a layering piece, but obviously like it's not going to make you warm. So that's why it's kind of pointless because the jacket's supposed to warm you up. But it's more just to layer and like wear with two tops or like a tank top or a bralette or something cute. But it actually looks really cute on and I'm glad that I bought this. The next thing is this cute t-shirt that I got from Pink. These ones um, run smaller and if you look on the front, it has a really cute um like florally logo yeah it's really cute it's like the blue black with the blue floral it just has the pi and k on it crew neck and then the sleeves are like a folded kind of like a rolled kind of thing it's just like a plain cute white t-shirt do like this one i've worn that a few times now and then the next thing i'm kind of annoyed with these these are the track pants from pink don't get me wrong i think they're so cute i got the plain black ones with the cute like pink like taping kind of you know um it has the drawstring on the band which is nice because i had to go up to a small instead of an extra small and when it's like looser everywhere else i just tighten up the waist or it fits everywhere else good but the lace waist was too big so i had to tighten it up it has the zippy pockets it has the zips at the bottom which is easy to oh on this side like the zipper here so then you can get it on and off easily because it's like kind of snug around the leg not as snug as a legging but it has a fleecy inside. Literally, they fit good. They're track paint material. But I seriously wore these two times. And they're all pilled. So, um, I'm sorry, but for however much these were, like 50-something, which obviously I didn't pay that much because I work there. But still, like, that should have not happened. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I just got a bad one. But my coworker said that also happened to her, although they have really good reviews online. So I think I'm going to exchange them for a new pair. And if the second pair does it, I'm just going to return them um, because they'll probably just like damage these out. They're not going to like resell these if I return them. But um, that was really annoying because I only wore them two times and I really do like these. But if they act up, I'm not keeping them. So I don't know. I'm going to exchange them and see what happens. But yeah, if that ever happens to you with like any clothing, you should just try to return them. I know like Paxson sucks because if you remove the tag, they're like, okay, well, all you can do is exchange, but at pink you can return or exchange. It just has to try to do it within 90 days. But yeah, no, that's what I think. Like I'm not trying to shade them or anything, but it could have just been like a bad pair. I don't know. And the last thing from pink is this super cute CSU shirt. Um, it's like a tank top with a middle cutout, as you can tell, and then it has the collar part still. Um, and then the whole like arm, it's like kind of like, it looks like a tank that you like cut the sleeves off and then you like cut this middle part. It looks like a DIY shirt. And then it has the cute Ram logo because I go to CSU. I really like the like charcoal gray. I went up a size in this because it's a little short, but I'm really excited to wear this with ga two games with like a bralette underneath. Way cute look. I love this. I'm so glad I bought this. I have so much CSU stuff, so I only got like that one. Um... Lastly, I have stuff from PacSun, Forever 21, Nike, and then I have this uh, makeup thing I want to show you guys. So, for what I got from Forever 21, I only have two things, and I bought these like literally a while ago. You could ask my friend Lizzie, she and I went shopping the other. It's this really cute like kind of houndstooth material, um, or pattern I guess, but it's also kind of like that wooly material too. It's cool. It's not wool, but... Honestly, I don't know the right word for it, but it has a straight neckline, spaghetti straps, it has a zip in the back. It's really cute. It fits more bodycon and it's a little bit shorter, but not too short. Like, I really like this dress and I'm glad I bought it. It was only like $17.99, so super good deal. And then I think this one was like maybe a little less than that, but um, super good deal. A straight neckline as well with the spaghetti straps. And it's like this pumpkin pie color. It's so pretty. It looks more orange, I feel like, with the ring light and on the camera, but it's more like PSL kind of pumpkin pie. I really like this like autumn color. It's tighter on the top and then the bottom's just kind of like a skater skirt bottom. 
And kind of on the roll with fall colors. Next I have PacSun stuff. So I only have two things from PacSun too. And I got these right before school started. First thing is also kind of fall colored. And it is this mustard yellow straight neck. Why do I keep getting straight neck like thin strapped things? This is more of a chunky strap for sure. But it's still kind of similar to what I have. I have like another dress too that's like a straight neck like that. And I feel like I have another shirt like this. But it's more of a sweater material that has the up and down kind of pattern, like ribbed sort of. And I really like this. It's super soft. I wore it on the first day of school with like a denim skirt and my high tops. This one's from LA Hearts. I got it in an extra small. And this one, not really fall colored, but cute. This one's Kendall and Kylie. I really like their stuff at PacSun. It's so adorable. I was going to say cute again. Not that that makes a huge difference. Um, I also got this in extra small. It's a smocked crop. Kind of looks like a smocked tube top, honestly, but it just has these cute little tie straps that I really like. I haven't had a chance to try it on or anything. I think I'm going to wear it the next time I go out with my friends, but I really like it. It kind of has a little flared out bottom, but I really like light pink stuff. If you guys uh, know me, you know that I love that color. Um, it's really cute. Yeah, I got it from the Kendall and Kylie collection. That's when they were like buy one get one half. Next, I got a new pair of shoes. These are Nikes, but I think I got them at DSW actually. Now that I'm recalling. I haven't worn these yet and I really wanted them, so I should wear them soon. Um, I don't know what kind of Nikes these are. Like, you know how Nikes have names like the Air Forces and the running ones. I don't know. There's like names for all the different kinds. I don't know what kind this is, but I really liked how it was almost that rose gold kind of mauve color Nike Air. I don't know if that makes I just like them. I really like tennis shoes. Um, again, like if you guys know me, I pretty much live in Nikes because I used to wear my Adidas a lot, but now I mostly just wear my Nikes and my Vans just because every single day I wear shorts or leggings or something like that. And the last thing Oh my goodness, this came in the mail yesterday. Oh my gosh, my ring light's like reflecting off of this so hard. Can you see it? It is the Jaclyn Hill Vault Palette Collection. I got all of them, like the full thing. And I am so, oh my gosh. It's funny because like when she first like showed it, I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then it took a while for them to come out. So I was like, whatever. And I ended up buying them anyways because I love Jaclyn Hill and I like Morphe eyeshadows a lot because I have her original palette. And then my friend had them and I checked hers out because she got hers from the Morphe store. So she got hers before mine. And literally just looking at them, I'm so pumped. So I'm really excited to use this. It's the cutest packaging ever. This was so smart of Morphe. They, there's probably other brands that have done this, but I just like how it's, it can sit on my desk like this. It's a little book. I want to keep this like nice so it can hang out in my room but yeah I'm really excited to try this I know there's like a lot of back and forth about these palettes so I'm just gonna try them out for myself see if I like them that is it you guys I hope you like this video sorry if I sounded like I was out of breath the entire time I feel like I'm still I've just been talking way too fast so I hope that didn't bother you and I hope you like this video my hauls are always kind of like this they're not super neat and to the point they're kind of just rambly and fun and I have a lot of stuff to show you so I hope you guys had a great day today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I have a update video coming up here soon and then probably like a room tour and stuff. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you are new and want to see more videos and I love you guys. I love you mad dogs and I'll see you in the next one.